Hi everybody, Kerry Benson here again from Essential Nails. Now I've done a grey salon set of acrylic nails um, of a mix match design and I just thought I would quickly show a few of the techniques that I've used to do these. Now you can see already I've sped a little bit up, it's quite time consuming watching a whole two hour set obviously so I've condensed it down. I've applied forms and I've used a grey, white and silver acrylic to create a marbled effect. The ring finger there has a very plain grey acrylic nail. I'm going to have a matte finish on this when it's done. And the finger that I'm working on at the moment is going to have the encapsulated flowers in it. So the first bead of acrylic that I've placed on the free edge there, I've pressed out quite thinly for a free edge because when encapsulating designs into the nail, your biggest problem is going to be making sure that the nail is not bulky as a result of all the glitter, all the 3D work and everything that you've put inside the design. So the thinner the base and the thinner the coloured layers the better because it gives you more depth to work with. So I'm just adding a little bit of shimmer and some glitter and moving it about a little bit and this is just a colour base layer, it's very very thin so I know that my client is going to have these nails soaked off um, but ultimately if I was to do this every time, I would probably use a very thin layer of clear against the nail plate first. As this means then when you're filing off for your next set, which is a redesign, you're obviously not going to come into contact with the nail plate again. So you can see I've started to do a little bit of 3D work here. This is the, the high white acrylic from Essential Nails. Now this high white it's got a very, very strange consistency that I've not managed to find in any other acrylic brands before. It's a little bit plasticine-like in that you place it on the nail and you can start working it almost immediately. And it does hold its shape. But it also gives you quite a large window of opportunity in order to manipulate it and work it into the shape that you want it uh, before it sets. I'm going to cover form fitting and nail shapes in other videos, but it's just to show you really, I suppose, the method of working a salon set of nails because you want to save time you need to get yourself into a routine and be quite methodical with your method. So the prep obviously will be done on all 10. Um, the primer, primal 10. Uh, tip if you're tipping or form fitting, if you're going to use forms. It just saves time in the end. Even if it is a mi mix match set, it's a case of working your way across the hands you do have to prior plan in your head so that you can keep track of what you're doing. So the bulk acrylic application is why I did the other nails first and then came back to these, which I'm going to put 3D work in because obviously these nails, they require more work than the others. So I've left them till last. So you can see I've pressed out all of the acrylic using the belly of my little brush. The centre of the flower requires my brush to be more upright at a 90 degree angle. And I do like to drag out the points of my leaves whilst the acrylic is still quite wet. And then just taper in to keep that point nice and sharp.
I'm going to be doing a second one and I've sped the video up obviously because 3D work can be quite time consuming. So we've just finished off the second and now capping the whole nail with clear acrylic. This clear is for the structure and the strength of the nail. When they're set, file all 10 nails and that then brings all 10 back up to the same state. So now is the time at which we top coat. I've used the velvet top coat for this nail because I would like the matte finish afterwards. The two which I've marbled, I'm adding a very tiny bit of tiny bit of paint as detail. You don't want to press very hard, you just want the very tip of the brush, just the bristle to just gently brush across the surface of the nail and for them to be quite jagged and random just to sort of imitate the lines at which you find within marble. This is my striping brush for me, N, but it's one of the striping brushes which I've chopped half the bristles at, so it's my thin one. I have a normal size and then I have a half thickness. This is the skinny one. I've used white and black paint. Now you must make sure your paint is dry before top coating. So the middle finger has been top coated already. I just need to wipe it off. You can see on the surface there that it's still shiny. And the other nails, I'm using the no wipe top coat. So it literally is a case of top coating, putting them in the lamp, cured. That's it, done. There you go. As soon as you apply the top coat to the encapsulated art, you can see it through it like glass. And the last marbled nail here. So now that all of the nails are at the same stage, they can all go in the lamp together, which then saves you time. They've come out of the lamp. I'm just wiping off that velvet top coat. Um, this is the one that I am applying gems to. And I know that you've seen this plenty of times in other videos. So I've skipped ahead a little bit. I use the brush on glue. I press the crystals into place. And then when I am finished, I do like to get a tiny detail brush and brush around the crystals with a little bit of top coat just to make sure they're sealed on. Just be careful when you're doing this though that you're not going to overrun with this top coat onto the matte finish of the nail. So there's just the final touches, uh, sealing crystals on. I would cure this in the lamp, then I would finish with cuticle oil, 
And that is a finished set of grey salon nails with marbling, matte finish with crystals, encapsulated flowers and glitter. I hope you've enjoyed watching.